So now what we need to do is that we need to connect to the database and get these products. And uh, to do that, we need to uh, we need to create a new file here in the server. I'm going to click on the server and then I'm going to create a new file called get featured products.php and then this get featured products must connect to the database therefore we need to say php and then we need to say here uh, include and then we need to include the connection connection.php and now we need to create uh, an HTML, uh, we need to create an HTTP query or SQL query that's going to connect to the uh, database and get these products. And to do this, I'm going to here say con, con because now we included this connection and this connection has a variable called connect con which connects to the database. So here I said con and then I'm going to call a function called prepare prepare and then here goes our SQL query so here what I'm gonna pass is that I'm gonna say select select because we need to get select all we need to get all from products and here we need to say semicolon so this is going to get all the products but we need to get only four products we need to get here four products therefore I'm going to say limit limit four we need only four products and then I'm going to store this in a variable called stmt statement and then I'm going to say here statement and then uh, we don't need to pass anything so all we need to do is to execute this query so to execute this query we need to say stmt and then execute and then semicolon and then finally we need to return this to the caller or store it in a variable so I'm going to store this in a variable uh, after saying here stmt and then get result and then I'm going to store the variable in a va I'm going to store the result in a variable called featured underscore products so this is the featured products and we can finally we can use this in the index so let me click on file and then save all now we need to include this get featured by the way I have here a spelling mistake let me rename this file get featured products so make sure that you don't have any typos or spelling mistakes again here featured products now we can include the get featured pro featured products in the uh, index and get these products but we need to find where the featured products are so the feature featured products are here and if I open this you'll find that we have here four products hard coded and we don't want that instead we need to remove all products and keep only one code and then we can repeat that using a loop this is where the power of PHP comes in the power of HT, uh, the power of PHP is that you don't have to repeat your code you can type the code once and repeat it using a loop let me show you what I'm gonna do so we need to find where is the first product so the first product is this and it ends I think this is the end so this is the first product therefore we need to delete other products so I'm gonna delete this second product this is the second product let me remove it uh, let me remove the third product which is this uh, let me remove also the last product and you need to be very very careful while removing you you wouldn't want to remove something you need and here let me add space here this is the product let me save and let me make sure that I didn't break my code so let me here refresh and show you that now we should have only one block we have only one product now we can use PHP to repeat the product because 
this get featured products will will return the products will return all of the products from the database so to to get all of the products we need here to say php we need to open a php uh, tag and then we need to include include and what we want to include is that we need to include the the featured so the featured get featured products is inside a file called server server and then for slash get featured products so this is going to import this file now this file has a has a, a variable called featured products and this featured products is an array this is an array so we can loop over this array here here I'm going to open a PHP tag and then I'm going to say here I'm going to close it first and then I'm going to say while raw is equal to get uh, featured, featured products featured products and then we need to call a function called fetch a sauce and then we need to open a curly bracket just open don't close it just open it and then at the end we need to close it we need here to say php and then we need to close it close the curly bracket in between we need now to display the products so instead of displaying the pro the hard-coded uh, code here text we can remove this now and then we can here say php and then php and then in between we need we can say echo and then echo what echo raw and then semicolon and the name of the column that contains the name of the product so the name of the column is products uh, product name remember product name product name product category description image so we need to say product underscore name for the price we need to say here we need to keep keep the uh, dollar sign and then we need to say php and then php and then echo raw product price and uh, for the image here the image we need to say here for slash php echo raw product image and then semicolon and uh, that's it uh, so we have the product let me make sure that we have everything we have the image image the name and the price so let me now save and let me make sure that I don't have any thing wrong let me now test so let me here refresh and as you can see I'm gonna get the same exact products here but the difference is now I got the products from the database I'm not getting the products from uh, from hard-coded uh, text I'm getting the products from the database by using this loop as you can see how how powerful this is because I'm just using a loop and that loop will keep displaying the the new products over and over and over again without the need of typing these things so as you can see now we have these uh, products being displayed here